Hey, welcome back to uh, Mastering uh, AXI Protocol series. Uh, today, we in this video, we will look at uh, read to a fixed address uh, with a varying length. Uh, so the idea in this series is that we try to keep one variable constant and vary the other and understand the effects of it. So the scenario that we are going to try today is uh, we will pick the address which is on the 4kb boundary which is 0x1 triple f and we will issue reads of length 1 to 7 bytes and then uh, at the end we will issue one more read of uh, 1024 bytes and see how it gets executed on the uh, axi bus uh, and how the uh, the number of words the number of reads are utilized uh, we will take a look at it uh, so this uh, video is sponsored by uh, GrowDB. Uh, you can uh, do self-assessment of your different verification uh, skills over here. Uh, so let's now jump to uh, the transaction analysis. Uh, I have already loaded uh, this scenario in the uh, Curiosity uh, transaction analysis dashboard. So uh, the AXI transaction shows the high level uh, stimulus that has been issued. This stimulus could be generated either by a, your UVM sequence or a software. So what I have done is I have filtered for a transaction address of, uh, you know, uh, hex one triple F and I'm looking at completed transactions and transaction count is a common identifier uh, between high level stimulus and the AXI uh, activity on the channels that we are going to analyze. Um, and the length, if you see, we have from 1 uh, to 7 and then uh, 1024. And the IDs happens to be uh, in the form of table of 8. And uh, uh, so funnily, we can correlate that uh, 1 byte is 8 and then like 8 twos are 16. So 16 is 2 byte and so on and so forth. So it will be for, uh, for example, it it will be easy to correlate. Uh, so let's start. So in the AXI read, we have the activity that has taken place on the AXI channels. Uh, so let's start with the first one, uh, which is eight, uh, which is the one byte read, uh, simple one. So on a AR channel, uh, we have issued with AR ID um, hex seven address one FF and uh, AR length of zero indicating we want to do one byte. AR size of two encoding indicating we want to do four byte um, read. So then we have received this is a one burst and we have received the read uh, response and the data is zero and the RID is matching with whatever the uh, burst that we had started. So a uh, very simple, uh, uh, simple one. So let's go to the next one, which is the second. So eight to the 16. Um, so here we are trying to read two bytes now as now 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 it's crossing the 4kb boundary so uh, the axi spec requires that the burst cannot cross the 4kb boundary so now we see here two uh, bursts being initiated the first burst is initiated to the address x1 triple f with the ar id of f and then we get the read data for uh, the the first burst and uh, with the um, with the RID matching, of course, but the second burst is also initiated with the same ARID because the ordering between these two have to be maintained. But the starting address will be uh, hex one triple F plus one, which will be hex two thousand, and both uh, uh, bursts will have only one beat. And here we read the next byte uh, from the. Uh, from the from the line so uh, in both the cases so in in this in both the bursts uh, we are having one beat and we are reading one byte each so totally adding up to two bytes uh, uh, but the two bytes are read through two bursts right so now let's go to the next one which is 24th so 24 is are 24 so we are reading three bytes over here uh, first one first burst is very simple we are reading uh, one byte. Now the second burst, we are going to be reading two bytes, right? So we are reading two bytes over here. So zero one and zero two, we are reading two bytes. So total of three bytes, right? So uh, so, so simple so far. So two bursts and both of them having uh, one 
uh, beat each. So let's go to the next one, uh, 32. And this one, we are reading five bytes. So the first burst uh, is reading one byte and the second uh, burst is going to be reading the uh, all four bytes. So we can see that, um, uh, we can, okay, this is the four bytes. So we can see that we are reading three bytes over here and one byte over here. Uh, so we are totally uh, reading uh, four bytes. Uh, now let's go to the next one, uh, which is 40. So here we are going to be reading uh, five bytes. So the first burst, we are reading one byte. And in the second burst, we are reading four bytes. So uh, we are totally reading uh, five bytes over here. And we can again see that the AR ID is maintained uh, same uh, so that the ordering between them is maintained. Uh, so next one, we are going to look at 48, which is going to be the uh, six uh, bytes. Now here uh, it becomes interesting. In the first burst, we are reading one byte. And in the uh, uh, first beat of the uh, second burst, right? So we are reading uh, four bytes over here and we can see that it is a first beat and the second beat is where it ends, where we really read one more byte. So we, we have read about four uh, plus one, five, and then this one. So totally we have read six uh, bytes over here and we can see that the AR length over here is one indicating that it is going to have uh, two beats, right? So I think that that gives a better perspective. So let's uh, go to uh, 56 and let's see what's happening over here we have again two bursts and the second burst is of two beats and in the first beat we are reading uh, four bytes and in the second beat we are reading um, two more bytes which the total of which is six plus one seven and uh, um, so we are reading seven bytes and eight sevens are 56 so that id is matching now let's go to the last one uh, where we are reading uh, 1024 uh, bytes. So here, if you look at it, the first one, uh, again, as usual, it's going to be reading the one byte, uh, but the second burst that we are issuing, uh, which is with the same AR ID to make sure that the ordering is maintained, uh, we are issuing a AR length of FF, uh, hex FF, which means uh, 255 plus one. So here we are going to see uh, 256 uh, read data channel accesses uh, being issued. Um, so here, what we can do is, let's say if I scroll down uh, to the last uh, uh, beat, uh, right? So let's see, uh, if I scroll down, uh, if I see, so this is the last but one beat. Uh, here we have four bytes, but the last beat has three bytes. So this is the last bit, right? So this is your R last is two over here. This is the, this has three bytes. And uh, let's now do some uh, calculations so that we are uh, convinced that what we are looking at. So let me just filter only the uh, data channel part of it. So when I filter the data channel, we have about 257 data, uh, data accesses that have taken place. And the first burst data access would be of one byte. Right, so now let's just do a quick calculation to make sure that this 257 accounts for uh, 1024. So our first burst uh, would be transferring the unaligned one triple F would be transferring the one byte, and then the subsequently we are uh, uh, we are we are doing uh, 255 uh, four uh, 255 uh, four uh, byte transfers. So 255 into four. So we have done about 1021 and we are still left with one last beat of the second burst where we transmitted about three bytes, right? So that, that accounts to total of uh, 1024 bytes being uh, transferred uh, with, with this particular uh, uh, two bursts, uh, right? So I hope uh, this uh, view of varying a variable gives you a very clear idea of how uh, the AXI uh, transactions, read transaction uses bursts and the beats uh, concept to uh, be able to complete the transfer. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please put them on the uh, comments section. 
and uh, okay so thank you very much